Breaker, and you know, John Hammer, really known for playing these big body characters, played Marduk, played uh, Gigas, and okay. also Beers. So as you can see, we're about to get some Kuma action. So I'm really excited to see how this is going to go. And just like we said, the Jun in Kuma. Yeah, trying to trying to settle down this rampaging bear, but you see that leather jacket. <laughs> he's he's rocking it. Oh, it's a ripped up gi. Yeah. He's, he's, <laughs> my fault, my fault. He's, he's cosplaying a Heihachi right now. Don't yeah. you know? Like, yeah. hello? <laughs> my fault, my guy. But John Hammer here it with the life lead, like ace. Oh, Ooh, the can-cans can -can coming into action here. Oh, nice off the back one conversion. Oh. <laughs> Trying to just tech rolling multiple times over. Looking for the can-cans yet again. Ace Unlimited representing so much combo potential right off the jump. As they back off, John continuing to insist on these lows, but getting blown up by the Heat Smash. And the backflip comes down. I like Ace trying to take things slow because bear damage is nothing to shake a stick at. Mm -hmm. And bears can be, it's like really hard because, you know, you have to guess the 50-50, but sometimes there's some gimmick within that 50-50 guessing. So I understood, right? there where um, Ace was like a little hesitant on what to do because it's like you don't know if a low is going to come at right. you or you know the can power crush could be anything but Ace Yo, being, wait a minute. oh my god this aggression <laughs> by Ace is working out really well John Hammer finally getting a jab in there and getting the launch oh the damage coming off of that full charge claw and then the heat engager look at how much health he gains back a great throw break making sure that one plus two grab was not following suit but the hunting stance from this bear is looking dangerous up until that throw can you find the otg you definitely can with the down three all right round number three into it the, the rubber game looking for some of these big conversions back one two uh, dis dictating the pace here is acing them and they find the can can to guarantee the wall choosing to keep them there with the up forward conversion Ooh, nice running into the back three. Gonna use the heat to launch him even further. Doesn't get the wall here, however, but, but a simple jab will do it. Yep, simple interruption on John Hammer's option. Closing that out. All right, the dragon wheel kick comes down for June as the... Ooh, eight. nice low parry. Okay, eight. It's gonna be all scale damage, but if there's no get up, that's gonna be a free down one plus two. Oh, he engage her. Look at that, and all the health comes back. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, the low parry combos. Oh my god, look at all that work. Like, all that work just got erased from all that health back, and then all that damage that John Hammer was able to get it was crazy. But Ace not faced by that, keeping up the momentum and the pace. Oh, oh. we're just letting it launch. Oh. All right, it's, you always think about the heat burst, no attack, you press mm -hmm. back in it, but you're still going through some end lag and like have an opportunity yeah. to find a hit that is guaranteed to be a counter hit. Mm -hmm. But if you're even just a little bit late, sometimes the bravest players are just gonna let that heat burst launch, and for June, that range is insane. Yep. All right, we're seeing our next round. John Hammer thinking about it a little bit as we descend into the subconscious. <laughs> Let's check it out. Okay. All right. <laughs> Back you. Three, yeah, yeah. <laughs> going for the launch. Oh, and we're already breaking damage on this floor. John Hammer trying to find an opening, but these can cans will do it again for Ace here. I, oh, I thought we were gonna go for the floor, some more floor damage, but nope. Yeah. It's, instead of going for the, like the Genji two three or anything to break the floor, we're just trying to keep the wall. Oh, we'll find the throw instead. Keeping him into the corner of the down forward four to hold down this position. Looking for any sort of check. The jab missed, but you still had the low follow-up finishing out the round. Ace Unlimited looking so strong here. Cool, we caught it. Oh, the can cans again. It's as if Ace is just can. plugged into John's head here. And we are going to go for the floor break. I'm going to guess we might have some heat popping up. No, went to try and do a different combo at. Oh my god. John Hammer with the headbutt. Okay, charging it, making it safe. The damage is certainly insane. That, that get up attack was huge, but another power crush comes down. The hunting stance getting uh, tech rolled away from. Has an opportunity here. Did not go for the guaranteed get up. Instead, we're just going for oh. the instant heat smash. Yeah. We're not even worrying about trying to conserve heat like most Junes usually try to do to avoid some of the self damage. Instead, it's just all about letting the laser beam rock. Shop. Okay, John Hammer seeming to find the way to stop this momentum and calling out the can-cans. Oh, but Ace 
Getting an opening here. These lows working out every time. And we're going to see the grab. Oh, my goodness. Okay, he smash is out of the table here. A still with some heat. Oh, but John Hammer, nice with the call out. Yeah, keeping things super simple. We haven't been seeing a ton of ducks from Ace Unlimited. It's been all about the wall rising punch and the can cans. Very quick to get back into standing. But if you're going to be so quick to do so, then you got, still will have to contest with all these powerful highs on the side of Kuma. And as you can see, John has slowed down his playing to make Ace play at the pace. Because you saw Ace was playing really fast, and that probably was not working out for John to figure out a way to interrupt any of that. But now that we see that the pace has slowed down a little bit, it's made things be on an even playing field. But Ace figuring it out and finding a way to get the, his momentum stride. Oh, charging up to keep everything safe. The heat burst comes out. And the follow-up oh. looked like the wall. Instead of going for like something like a wall rising four, instead mm -hmm. just looked to stand and jab and getting caught by the follow-up of that string that has gotten John Hammer so much mileage. The hunting stance didn't stay in. Didn't go for the 1-1-1 one, one, one launch. Saw that it didn't counter hit. I could see the John, I mean, as you're saying, he really slowing down the pace of the game, playing purely jab checks and staying in as in frame as he can. Yes. But Ace doing really well with these pokes Another here. And gonna get the throw. Maybe looking the oh nice saying get off me uh oh this is going to be big damage oh no the drop that's so unfortunate but we are at neutral here and Ace could have did something there but I guess wanted to call out with the grab and get the guarantee on the wake up yeah oh, and I love I love that about Tekken players because you know what and so there's no there's gonna be a handshake or a fist bump later but they're instantly like. All right, what'd you do, and how can I play around it? And like, they're <laughs> labbing out on stage. Nah, for real, for real. <laughs> yeah, super, super sick set. We love to see the the shift of gameplay styles really come to play. Both sides were very insistent on one or another game plan and didn't really see a lot of changes to their formulas. Mm -hmm. Instead, it was a little timing adjustments that yeah. played into John Hammer finding some more success, as well as how Ace was able to close down the set as a whole. A lot of just like simple checks, a lot of flash duck wall risings, and of course, a ton of throws that with a healthy mix up of which throws that he was doing, really prevented John from finding any throw breaks. Yeah, um, that was really tough. I felt like yeah. John slowing down the pace and playing small tech in there could have went a long way, but unfortunately, you know, some of the whiffs and just a lot of really good call outs there by Ace just unfortunately made it so that it just ended up working in Ace's favor. But next up, we got a good match here. We got.